to discuss. This is Chair of the Bar Council, Mark Fennels QC. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, largely, I know you're in support of this. Why? Why is that? Well, well, sentencing is a complicated process and we welcome the chance for the public to understand how it's done, why judges reach the decisions they do, uh, and to simply uh, have a better so they can see how the criminal justice process works. We think it's a very good thing that um, the public will be able to view these events. I mean, as you say, it's, it's very complex and it's based on, obviously, the verdict, but the, the evidence that has been heard. Well, if we're not seeing the evidence, will we understand the sentencing? The, the way that sentencing remarks work is that the judge will summarise what's been heard in the trial He'll set out for everybody listening, that now in can include the public, the facts of the case, the aggravating features, the mitigating features, and, and he or she will explain why it is um, they're passing that particular sentence. When they pass a sentence, they follow sentencing guidelines that are set out by the Sentencing Council, and they follow the laws that are set out by Parliament. And the more that judges can explain that to the public, as well as to victims, their families and the defendants, the better. All of that information that you've just laid out is available to the public, just not in broadcast form. Why do you think it's important that we need to have sort of cameras in the courtroom for that part of the process? Well, I think you know as well as I do that people enjoy watching things, listening things, seeing things, and that makes it much more accessible than uh, the written word sometimes. Uh, and rather than ask the public to do their own exercise themselves or perhaps to go to the court and listen to an entire case, which they could do, now they've got a chance to listen to a judge, sum it all up in a few minutes uh, and understand why particular sentences are being passed. I mean, there are guidelines for absolutely every kind of criminal offence, not all of them, but most, you know, from abstracting electricity through to voyeurism, if you do the whole alphabet. Uh, and there's a lot of complexity there, and it's good that the public can see it happen and, and we can maybe dispel some myths about the way judges sentence.